For years, 10 on your side has been demanding accountability for massive interstate issues in Hampton Roads. Well, today, VDOT responded. We learned Dennis Ewer, the head of the Hampton Roads District, will be leaving the job now. 10 on your side has been tracking these pothole problems, including the major potholes damaging cars on 264. And tonight, we have live team coverage beginning with Andy Fox. Tom, when I tried to get Dennis Hewer on camera for an interview, a VDOT staffer said, Andy, he is an engineer and he is not going to talk about potholes. It is clear. Had pothole disaster not struck last Friday, had Hewer then stood up to explain what happened, he may still have a job. In this case, not talking, not good. We first reported Hampton Roads District Administrator Dennis Hewer was leaving VDOT. In the end, he realized Hampton Roads had lost faith in his management. VDOT Commissioner Gregory Worley confirmed what we first reported. He told me today that in the best interest of the Hampton Roads community, that effective tomorrow, February 15th, he will be departing VDOT to pursue other interests and opportunities. For Hewer, the good was real good and the bad was real bad. The potholes, as trivial as it may sound, was what did him in. I agree that that situation should have never happened. Under Hewer's management, oversight was lacking. The contractor, TME, was failing to get the pothole job done correctly, and VDOT was failing to oversee TME. I told Worley, taxpayers hold VDOT responsible, hold Hewer accountable. So ultimately, VDOT and accountability needs to rest with VDOT, yes? Uh, that is an accurate statement. We also have a responsibility just because I contract out work to a contractor that does not relieve VDOT of the responsibility to fix these roads. That was Hewer's failure, paying attention to management detail in a very public agency. Now TME must use better sticking hot mix asphalt, not cold mix that crumbles. Hewer could have demanded that. All future contracts will require that potholes that are 36 inches square, and that is six inches by six inches, and uh, uh, one and a half inches deep be repaired immediately upon discovery. Curtis Contracting just got a $3 million contract for emergency concrete replacement. Hewer could have done that months ago. Proactive, not reactive. What is TME doing? Now VDOT's finding that out. Could have happened under Hewer, but didn't until it was too late. Worley said the evaluation of TME now underway will be completed prior to any future contracts TME gets and the company is set to get a big 31 million dollar contract in May. After all this, maybe not. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. With